Hi, Professor Richard again to talk about accepting criticism, soft skill number eight on the list of nine most sought after soft skills. Well, it's one thing to give constructive criticism. That's hard enough. Yeah, you know you're doing a really great job. Your communication and leadership skills are optimum. There's just one area for improvement and, and just hearing that room for improvement causes your jaw to clench and the blood to run from your face. I get it. I train people how to get over their fears of public speaking, so I see this terror of being judged all the time. And this whole area is complicated by the positive psychology theory that says you shouldn't think for a second about your weaknesses. Focusing only on your strengths is all you need. I guess if you're talking about hard skills, that's one thing. I mean, a great salesperson may never be one for administrative duties and you want him or her out selling anyway and not filling out spreadsheets. But to really develop, we have to see what's behind the weakness. What if the underlying problem is laziness or greed or dishonesty? You see, what the leading edge psychology Dr. Norberto Kepi teaches us is that weaknesses are attitudinal. I'm not arrogant and dismissive of others by nature. I just don't want to come down off my pedestal and relate to people normally. I'm not stubborn normally. I just refuse to abandon my point of view no matter what you say. You see, those attitudes and behaviors against goodness, truth, and beauty can lead to all sorts of performance problems in my career, with customers and clients and co-workers, with my family and friends. Well, this is complex to explain in a short video, but in fact, it's only by treating our problems that we manage to really go forward in life because weaknesses are attitudes and behaviors against life, against success. You know, we can help you with all that in our conflict management courses here at our college. So I hope it's been beneficial for you. And I'll see you soon for soft skills number nine.